Hello Summoners, welcome back to the channel and in this video we will be doing episode 6 of Why Everybody Loves series. The first 5 were on Ghost, Doctor Doom, Archangel, Cap Infinity War and also Magneto the latest one. And if you want to check those out, I do have a playlist available. And this is going to be episode 6 on Black Widow Clairvoyant and I would say uh, the title says everybody loves but obviously there is going to be a group of people who do not particularly like that character they think they're overrated we are basically talking about the most popular champions of pretty much every single class we already covered doom and black widow clairvoyant is kind of the second best mystic this is diablo is also pretty solid competition to be honest but the thing about Claire is, um, if you just see the damage, then she is nothing special. Even, like, there are some scenarios where the damage can be pretty decent, especially against champions who are immune to one of her three debuffs, bleed, poison, or incinerate, which is, uh, like, a decent amount of champions in the game are immune to at least one of these three. And she brings in ton of utility in her three modes you have complete control of what you want you can counter champions who gain buffs uh, with uh, like when you have a charge you can nullify the buffs or you can get the buff immunity thing going on the sp2 we will be showcasing a little bit of the juggernaut gameplay where we'll be where we will be countering the unstoppable on top of that with use and mastery she is very compatible because she can sh uh, like she starts off in the bleed mode so she doesn't start with a bleed you can easily do a five hit combo ending uh, with a light attack to change the mode and go into the poison mode and then immediately stop the poison as well and then you can go back to the bleed mode at the end or towards the end and go for sp2 to heal all the recoil damage and block damage and pretty much end every single fight as maybe a full yellow bar but you know recoil exists so if you are not killing the opponent with the special attack probably at 95 ish percent health if you want if you don't want regeneration you can go for extra damage sometimes you want power control she can have that it's not the best is she is no magic she is not a psylocke with horsemen uh, <laughs> psylocke with horsemen psylocke with the apocalypse i uh, meant to say but uh, she is in my opinion the biggest strength that she has is that she is incredibly incredibly uh, versatile she doesn't really have that many bad matchups and she can be used in so many different scenarios like a lot of people ask me uh, rank up questions and i have to ask like where are you content wise what mastery setup you run uh, what are the things like you want to do but with black widow clever Warren, you don't really have to ask all these questions she is a character that you should rank up if you have her because she can do it all like event quests alliance quests side quests things that you do very frequently she is great for all of them pretty much and um, and the special celebrity challenges she has been really good for those and uh, boss rushes she could be useful for those like pretty much everything except i'd say labyrinth abyss and of course there will be some nodes where she can't be used and stuff but for the most part she is a very versatile champion with a lot to offer and uh, even lance war uh, i wouldn't say she's a top tier lance war attacker but uh, it's been a while now but if you remember the thing boss stubborn meta um she used to be kind of a popular option against thing as a boss with a kind of difficult global node as well um so even like and she didn't time out or anything i looked uh, she's a character who i wish had more damage but at the same time i don't think the damage output really holds her back that much because sure the fights are longer but you are ending them at a very high health and you kind of i don't know i just feel in control when i'm using her i don't know it's kind of hard to explain but uh, she is a solid character it doesn't even need to be awakened doesn't need the signature stones doesn't need any synergies by herself very solid champion the one thing i would recommend is suicide masteries because she doesn't take any of the downsides because she's immune and also she can heal the recoil damage and the plus sides first of all she is again not great in the damage department so any extra health that she could get is nice and the other thing is the regeneration that she has on the sp2 in the curse of bleed phase 
or whatever it's called it is directly proportional to the damage that you're doing so it's you said you're doing more damage which means you're healing more which is also why she is great option to for any nodes where like you're taking degeneration damage but you're dealing more damage i think blaze was the node i'm not sure but uh, even nodes like power shield just the first hit and it uh, this p2 has a lot of hits the first hit itself just you go straight to 100 health doesn't matter where you were you pretty much like those nodes you can really cheese uh, as well as rogue who are with the sp ones but uh, yeah like black widow clairvoyant absolutely amazing champion and my, it looks like my dog agrees i don't know if you can hear that but he started barking all of a sudden but anyways that's gonna do it for this one do let me know uh, why you like or dislike black widow clairvoyant and uh, yeah that's pretty much gonna do it for this one thanks for watching and stay like this video share with the land stay safe have a good one and bye bye